This is Travis the Beast Bajant, a man who's perfected the art of talking a good fight. He's not even close to a strong spin. He's not even close. Yeah, there's nobody in here for me. I'm the best, the greatest. He's too cocky for me. They're right. I do think I'm superior. <laughs> By far the best arm wrestler that ever lived, ever. But Travis has a lot to boast about. With three times the force of a normal man, he has arguably the world's most powerful left arm. I think he's stronger than a tree. You'd have to grab a hold of him to actually feel how strong he is. I, I didn't think they made people that strong. He also has explosive speed. His trademark slam hits full force in 0.2 of a second, a tactic which has made the 31-year-old a world champion. I have no problem losing. I just, it hasn't happened yet. I'm too strong! Bring it on! But Travis has had to work for his strength. My left feels good. All right. One, two, go! Over the years, he's built awesome power from his own unorthodox training regime. Here, he's using one arm to drag a total weight of 30 stone. Yeah, that's good. All right, one more. And this is the money maker right here. This is how you win. Yeah. But this is the pressure that allows me to pin people. I'm too strong. Greatest of all time. Of Travis all time. Bates. Of all time. That's right. You know, he acts obnoxious, but, you know, Travis is Travis arm wrestling, and as soon as he's off the stage, he's a whole different guy. So if you don't know him, you either love him or you hate him. The key to Travis's success isn't just strength. It's his iron will something he developed during a difficult childhood. We were poor as shit, so my mom did a great job with very little resources. He's told me times where they had no food to eat, being hungry, and that's just sad. To make matters worse, Travis rarely saw his father. Jerry Big Arm Boyd was a state champion arm wrestler and a local celebrity. He was just kind of like some storybook hero, you know what I mean? He was, you know, he was my father, but it was crazy because everyone I talked to knew him more than me. He just lived a good life. You know, he, he definitely dropped the ball as a, as a good old dad, that's for sure. Jerry, now in his 60s, owns an arm wrestling bar. It's a shrine to the very idea of strength. Uh, some men measure their success in life by the bank account. And uh, some of us measure our success with the weight of the heaviest rock. That's what I did. Being strong to him means everything. If you're not strong, then you're nothing. Travis took up arm wrestling as a young boy in order to build a bond with his dad. And now he's ended up following closely in his father's footsteps. There's no room to be humble. You cannot be that way and be a competitive person because you won't be in the competition very long. In Charlestown, West Virginia, Travis is only a week away from his crunch match. But even the beast manages to find time to play with his kids. <laughs> Have you ever in your life seen anything like that? Travis hopes that his boys grow up to be professional athletes. Whenever Ezra arm muscles Travis. Travis is just amazed by his form. He's like, look at him. Look at him. Can you believe it? He's got great form. Yeah. Travis is definitely an athletically minded person, so I think he's looking forward to his kids being um, in, in a lot of sports and doing well. But even a day at home doesn't stop Travis from preparing for his next match. I do a lot of research, you know, with arm wrestlers. For the most part, any arm wrestler in North America, I have access to if he competes. Travis firmly believes his winning edge comes not just from muscle, but from mind control. You know, when I go into a tournament that I'm not necessarily the strongest human being in the building. However, I'm definitely the smartest. I like to really control the match mentally. Whatever I have to do to get his mind off of uh, his plan of attack. So there I am, we're pulling right now, and I'm told, I just told him, I said, I told you. 
and there it is. I ended up winning 5-1. And even his ungodly strength, and you know, it just couldn't get him through. Science does support Travis's theories. Psyching himself up has a side effect. It increases metabolic hormones such as adrenaline, which boosts both speed and muscle power. In a few days' time in the UK, he'll put that to the test against the 20 stone mountain of muscle that is Devon Larratt. There's no way that this guy, Devon Larratt, that's arm wrestling here in this video, he has absolutely no chance against me. Devin is just this freak of nature, physically. I mean, nobody could be in better shape than this guy. I mean, his endurance levels and just fitness levels are off the chart. Yes. He'll be watching everything on Devin Lyric over and over and over again. You know, there's even some, some people on the internet that say that I can't win a match, which is totally the craziest thing I've ever heard of in my whole life. Yeah, I think he's a little nervous. I think he's always a little nervous, but he'll never let you see it. It may be a coincidence, but Travis has stepped up training ahead of the clash with Larry. And go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. The pull-up holds. That's just a starting position in arm wrestling. It's right here, very important to get your lat and everything tucked in there real nice and tight. Boom, and then the resistance away from my face. <laughs> He's the best. Nobody in the world can beat him. It seems ridiculous to me to think that I'm going to lose to a guy who's inferior to me. I think his hopes and dreams are way stronger than reality. Ha! Devin Laird, I can't even believe I got to sweat just to pull this guy. Travis Bagent has arrived in Manchester for his showdown with Devon Larratt. But the man who believes in superhuman confidence to psych out the opposition is feeling a bit nervous. I'm always happy, very happy guy. And now, not so happy. I just hate being so far away from home. Why? What do you miss about home? Um, my kids, mostly. Yeah, plus the food and my bed. I mean, Manchester's obviously bigger than Charlestown, I assume, right? Yeah, I mean, way bigger. So um, there's, um, you know, maybe that's what it is too. Maybe I, you know, in, the, in Charlestown, I'm the man. So everywhere I go, I know everyone and they know me and you kind of, you know, that familiarity kind of, you know, I like that. The clash is taking place at Manchester's Trafford Center, a huge shopping mall. It's pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice. Travis now has just 30 minutes to regain his focus. It, it brings a lot of class and a lot of prestige to the sport of arm wrestling, which is something we don't always get a big stage. So it'll be a good sight to, uh, to see me crucify Devin Laird later. It'll be great. Yeah, I got a feeling I feel better as the, the time gets closer. I feel like uh, it's going to be a good show, and um, I'm going to win. But Devon could prove Travis's toughest opponent. The Canadian champion has spent the last 10 years taking on the world's strongest. Devon Larratt's been through a lot in his life, a lot of matches, a lot of tough guys, and I know that he's not going to be intimidated by Travis. I think that's an unusual situation for Travis because most men that he's faced at the arm wrestling table he is able to get into the head. They've not got Devon's mental strength. And that's why this is a really exciting matchup. It's going to be interesting to see whether he can crack the uncrackable nut. Calm before the storm. Still about 15 minutes out. I'll bring it up when it's time. The moment has arrived. Champion of the world, the beast. This is going to be a battle of mind against muscle. As soon as the rivals are on stage, Travis's antics begin. You gotta see this guy, this guy's a bum. Dude, you can beat this guy. You said you thought you couldn't beat him, you can beat him, trust me. I like to really control the match mentally. 
whatever I have to do to get his attention, to get his mind off of uh, his plan of attack. This guy can't beat me in nothing. That's crazy. Each round of the left-handed match can be over in just a split second. I love to get really close to somebody and look at them, breathe on them, and let them know that, you know, I'm right here across the table, and I'm going to whip your ass in about two seconds here, as soon as they say go. Yes, sir. Ready to go. <laughs> It took less than a second, but already Bajan takes the lead. In slow motion, we can see Travis delivering 170 pounds of force into one of his explosive slams. You better ease up. Will you take an ass whipping up here? Yes! I told y'all he can't beat me! You crazy! Me, come on, you up here for this. Ready to go. Oh, a winner. The beast leads. The beast. With another victory for Travis, his confidence is soaring. He now needs only one more win to seal the match. This is for the super heavyweight arm wars title. Together. I want it to center first. Ready to go. Get the, get the way. Way. Go, Will The Bruce has just become the new showed up healthy, I was 100%, and uh, I threw everything I had at Travis, but he is the stronger man. It's a comforting feeling knowing that you're the greatest of all times. I probably could have beat that guy six months ago laying on the couch, you know what I mean? So, But eventually, like I said, you keep dominating, and people get annoyed, and they train harder, and before long, someone will show up left-handed. I'm sure he's out there. So if he's there, I want to meet you. Please come see me. Shake my hand. Can I get an autograph something?